you instantly know what this is because nothing else in the human body can look like this either normally or abnormally. You see yellow nodules within a sort of brownish tan parenchyma and occasionally some of the nodules look a little green. You know this has to be liver because of the color changes and because of the nodules you know it has to be cirrhosis as well. And if there was a ruler lying next to this and you could see that these nodules were only about a millimeter, you would also know it was micronodular cirrhosis. The most common cause of micronodular cirrhosis by far is alcohol. It's Lanx cirrhosis or nutritional cirrhosis or the type of cirrhosis that uh, alcoholics get. And uh, let's take a look at this uh, area here now with a nice microscopic view, just like we had a nice gross view. And once again, if you remember that the uh, little nodules were yellow, they correspond to these yellow nodules here. And like anything in the body that's yellow, it's probably yellow because of fat in 99% of the time. So these yellow nodules in the liver are fat, but they're just simple fatty metamorphosis like you see in obesity or diabetes. These are yellow nodules in which uh, uh, hepatocytes are replaced by fat, but surrounding these nodules are little fibrous bands. That's why we have cirrhosis. So uh, even if you didn't see the uh, fat, if the only thing you saw were fibrous bands, which generally stretch from portal areas to portal areas, creating nodules of any type, you know, that would be cirrhosis. And of course, in alcohol, you usually see a lot of uh, fat as well. So when you look at your fatty liver and you say diabetes, obesity, diabetes, obesity, always include fat as your number uh, three thing or perhaps two or one. Another thing that you could notice about this liver, however, is besides being early cirrhosis with these thin little bands bridging from portal area to portal area and creating a nodules, and the nodules are filled with hepatocytes being replaced by fat, is that it's a, also inflamed. So for some reason, uh, a good reason, this is uh, also termed alcoholic hepatitis. And if you remember when we talked about viral hepatitis, we had these little uh, inclusions inside some of the hepatocytes, which were eosinophilic, and we called them councilman bodies. Well, in alcoholic hepatitis, we have little intrahepatocytic inclusions as well, that maybe can look a little bit like the councilman bodies, but in alcoholic hepatitis, they're called Mallory bodies. They're also called alcoholic hyaline. And even on this relatively random thing here, you could see an intracytoplasmic within the cytoplasm of a hepatocyte, eosinophilic body, probably here, lesser here, which you can call, you know, a Mallory body if you'd like. You could go home now and tell everybody you saw a Mallory body. But remember, uh, if you see pigment like this, that could be uh, bile or hemosiderin. So make sure you're not looking at something brown or black. Make sure you're looking at something that's truly eosinophilic. And if I wanted to, I could probably go and find you a whole bunch of more Mallory bodies. So let's do that. Let's just take, take another random high power view. And I bet you maybe we'll even find a better Mallory body. Like everything in pathology, uh, you don't want to find just a junky one. You want to find a great one, something that's better than the textbooks. In this field, oh, I could probably theorize that maybe that was one, but the problem is you can't really see that it's within the cytoplasm of a hepatocyte. You know that's a hepatocyte because it's round and has a nucleolus and probably that and probably that. So we have to find a cell that's a hepatocyte and then we have to look inside of the cytoplasm. And if we see little red stuff, that's kind of red. That's even redder. So I would say that's probably a good uh, Mallory body as well. 
alcoholic hepatitis uh, going into early cirrhosis have the nice diagnostic little Mallory bodies. Thank you very much.